The JLTV, Joint Light Tactical Vehicle, was developed by the American company Oshkosh Defense to provide a new generation of 4x4 armored vehicles for the U.S. Army and Marine Corps. In September 2011, the American company Oshkosh unveils the next generation of the light combat vehicle, the LATV Light Combat Tactical All-Terrain Vehicle. The LATV was selected for the Joint Light Tactical Vehicle, JLTV, Engineering, Manufacturing, and Development, EMD, phase. The next generation of light combat military vehicles requires new levels of mobility and protection to operate effectively in remote, rugged, and hostile terrains. Oshkosh Defense, a division of Oshkosh Corporation, designed the Light Combat Tactical All-Terrain Vehicle (LATV) to meet the military's future needs based on 10 years of operational experience with the military utilizing Oshkosh's heavy, medium, and MRAP vehicle fleets in Iraq and Afghanistan. The vehicle is designed to be easily transported by military transport aircraft used by the U.S. Armed Forces or airlifted by CH-47 Chinook helicopter. In October 2012, Oshkosh Defense announced the beginning of production of its light combat tactical all-terrain vehicle, LATV. In August 2015, the U.S. Army Tank Automotive and Armaments Command, TACM, Life Cycle Management Command, LCMC, awarded Oshkosh Defense, LLC, an Oshkosh Corporation company, a $6.7 billion firm fixed price production contract to manufacture the Joint Light Tactical Vehicle, JLTV. Lithuanian Defense Minister Raimundas Karablas announced on November 22, 2018, that the country plans to acquire up to 200 LATV combat multi-role vehicles from the United States. In November 2018, Slovenia has announced the purchase of 38 Oshkosh Defense JLTV tactical vehicles. In December 2018, U.S. Army has announced the delivery of the first JLTVs, Joint Light Tactical Vehicles, to the U.S. Army 1st Armored Brigade Combat Team, 3rd Infantry Division The unit, located at Fort Stewart, Georgia, will start receiving its own JLTVs in January 2019 and should be fully equipped with about 500 new JLTVs by the end of March 2019. In April 2019, U.S. soldiers from the 1st Armored Brigade Combat Team, 1st ABCT, 3rd Infantry Division Raider performed several tests with the JLTV providing feedback to improve the vehicle with new features. The IBIG 4i refers to the new capability added to the truck with these enhancements, increased situational awareness, roughly 250% larger rear windows in the forward-facing camera, added muffler, troop seat kit, and the JLTV trailer. Soldiers took part in the test as drivers, truck commanders, rear seats, and troop seat passengers. On Thursday, June 20, 2019, Dr. Bruce Jettig, Assistant Secretary of the Army for Acquisition, Logistics and Technology, approved the Joint Light Tactical Vehicle, JLTV, program's transition into full-rate production. The U.S. State Department has made a determination approving a possible foreign military sale to Lithuania of 500 joint light tactical vehicles with support for an estimated cost of $170.8 million. The Defense Security Cooperation Agency delivered the required certification notifying Congress of this possible sale on August 27, 2019. In November 2019, it was announced that the Defense Material Agency of Lithuania under the Lithuanian Ministry of National Defense and the U.S. Department of Defense signed the letter of offer and acceptance concerning the procurement of 200 units of the Joint Light Tactical Vehicle, JLTV. On February 14, 2020, the American company Oshkosh Defense LLC was awarded a contract to deliver JLTVs to Lithuania and Slovenia. U.S. Marine Corps has launched a plan in 2020 to integrate the Naval Strike Missile, NSM, on unmanned JLTV Rogue Fires vehicle to enhance its anti-ship capability in support of sea control and sea denial missions. In September 2020, Belgium has announced that the American company Oshkosh Defense will supply 322 JLTVs to the Belgian Army. According to information published on November 12, 2020, the JLTV will replace the Humvees in service with the U.S. Air Force. On December 1, 2020, American company, Oshkosh Defense announced an international contract for the delivery of 59 Joint Light Tactical Vehicles, JLTV, to NATO and non-NATO allies and including Lithuania, North Macedonia, and Brazil. In January 2022, Oshkosh Defense unveiled the first-ever silent drive hybrid electric Joint Light Tactical Vehicle, JLTV, the EJLTV. 
On June 27, 2022, Jenkel, a British world leader in the design, integration, manufacture, and support of high-specification defense systems, signed a teaming agreement with the U.S. defense company Oshkosh Defense to harness the joint capabilities and strengths of both companies for the U.K. defense market. On July 1, 2022, Oshkosh Defense announced a new order for 513 Joint Light Tactical Vehicles, JLTVs, and 1,152 trailers, JLTVT, for the U.S. Army, U.S. Marine Corps, U.S. Air Force, U.S. Navy, and the Armed Forces of Montenegro, Brazil, and Lithuania. On December 16, 2022, Oshkosh Defense announced a new order of $543 million to provide more JLTVs for the U.S. Army, U.S. Marine Corps, U.S. Air Force, and U.S. Navy. The Oshkosh LATV can be fitted with a wide range of remote-controlled weapon stations or a ring mount armed with one 7.62 or 12-7mm machine gun. The LATV's Oshkosh roof-mounted turret is capable of mounting either an M240 machine gun, a MK-19 grenade launcher, or a BGM-71 TOW anti-tank guided missile, all of which can be operated either from the turret or remotely inside the cabin. The Oshkosh LATV is motorized with a digitally controlled Gale Banks Engineering 860 V8 diesel developing 397 horsepower. At 3000 RPM, based on the architecture of the General Motors, GM, Duramax. The vehicle uses a fully automatic Allison transmission coupled to an Oshkosh transfer case. The Alatvis modern technology engine delivers expanded power capabilities, greater fuel efficiency and integrated communications for improved diagnostics and maintenance over legacy engine technologies currently fielded. Equipped with the Oshkosh TAK4IO independent suspension system, the next generation of Oshkosh's TAK4IE suspension system, the LATV can safely navigate dangerous on- and off-road terrain while providing unmatched ride quality. The TAK4I technology uses a proprietary technology to deliver 20 inches of independent wheel travel and 25% more wheel travel than any vehicle in the U.S. military as fleets in and expands on the success of the TAK4 system, which is currently fielded on more than 20,000 military-class vehicles. An optional Oshkosh Propulsi diesel electric hybrid powertrain has been developed, integrated, and tested in the LATV, providing a powertrain option that can be readily implemented to maximize the vehicle's efficiency through improved fuel economy, high levels of exportable power, stationary and on the move, and lower life cycle costs. Suspension can be raised and lowered to meet transportability requirements via interior controls. The LATV can run at a maximum road speed of 120 km per hour with a maximum cruising range of 480 km. It can climb a gradient of 60% and a side slope of 40%. It can cross a vertical step of 0.5 m and a trench of 0.5 m. Standard equipment of LATV includes blast-protected seats for each member of the crew, an automatic fire suppression system, and plug-and-play integration of situational awareness systems. The vehicle can also be fitted with a heater, air conditioning, and an NBC protection system. The LATVT hosts a complete C4 ISR, command, control, computers, communications, network solution. A spare road wheel is mounted at the rear of the crew compartment. The LATV is fitted with an adaptable suspension that can be raised and lowered to meet transportability and mobility requirements using interior controls.